My name is Brianna Payne and I am currently the math and science teacher here at Basis Nanjing. I am currently teaching grade two math and science. In grade two, we use a spiral-based curriculum, which is Saxon math, and this curriculum spirals not only throughout the school year with the topics and the areas of focus. So at Basis here, we work with Saxon in grades one, two, three, four, and five. For the lower primary classes, we do not have a textbook, but we used um, consumable resources. And in grades four and grades five, they have a math textbook that they use. In grades one and grades two, with our consumable notebook, we also use a lot of math manipulatives, additional math games, and videos, academic resources to help them when they are focusing on a specific topic. In math, we focus on measurement and temperature measuring. We also use units that are both Western and Asian units, so we can work with gallons. For example, we have our gallon men in the back, but also we use other standard and non-standard units of measurement, too. In addition to measurement, we talk about um, two-digit addition as well as multiplication, and all of these topics are reviewed in grades three and grades four. In addition to being reviewed, they are also expounded upon. So whatever we teach in grade two, in grade three, they will see the same topic again, just in a deeper level. We also really try to stress um, the importance of challenging our students academically. And so throughout the grade two school year, we will also find areas where they can be challenged and pushed. In addition to math, I also teach science. And for the lower primary where I am, we use interactive science notebooks. And so our book focusing, focuses on earth science, natural science, and environmental focuses. So we will read a passage and work together to identify, it could be habitats, it could be animal taxonomy, and so we take some time and we read the passages and go through our textbook together. And then this is supplemented with small science experiments or small investigations, whether that be around the classroom, outside, or if necessary, and if we can find an appropriate um, area, we can also take field trips. And so this year, for example, when we finished our um, when we finished our topic on animal taxonomy, the students were also focused on animal writing for their humanities class, and we took a joint trip to the, to the aquarium. And so that was a way for all of us to work together to figure out how we can combine and have cross-curricular learning. In science, for upper primary, the students do not have a textbook. However, they work with um, their science notebooks, and so that is a more authentic um, example of how scientists use notebooks throughout experiments. So they're not necessarily reading and learning, but they are getting that hands-on science practice with the lab so that they are actually learning how to be scientists and think like scientists. To assist and to supplement our reading and the topics that we discuss in our science book, our interactive science book, we also make sure that we have interactive activities and resources for the students to use around the classroom. For example, we have our word wall and it helps students to identify and to find a place where they can come and to review some of the scientific terms that we've discussed. And whenever they want to use it later on during the school year, they always have a place where they can refer back to to the areas that we've already learned. We focus um, in science, we focus on current events as well. So Earth Day was recently, and so we try to make sure that whatever event is going on, we try to combine it with our science lesson and to see if there are ways that we can dig deeper into things that are happening around our environment, around our world, and anything that is current. 